Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? An incredible fish. And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. With Pat McSherry. All right, what a fish. Andy Bioko. Wow. Get the colors on this fish. And Mike Anselmo. Man, he's bumping. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. On today's episode, we're gonna be in Webster, South Dakota, fishing with Marcus Quam. This is one of my favorite areas to fish at one of my favorite times of year to be on the water. Uh, we're long past the spawn now. The fish have been finished with that for about two to three weeks and the water temperatures are starting to warm. And what I love about coming to the Webster area to fish is this time of year, that means I get to fish aggressively. The fish are gonna be shallow, soaking up some warmth in those shallows as the sun starts to beat down on them, and they can be very aggressive when you're fishing crankbaits. It's one of my favorite ways to catch walleyes, and on this particular body of water that we're gonna be fishing with Marcus, there is a shot at an absolute giant smallmouth bass. So do stick around, it's gonna be a great show targeting early season walleye and smallmouth bass near Webster, South Dakota. It done. Big old dead crowd out here, there in there. Oh, sure. That'll work. There we go. All right. Is it a giant? Uh, it's not a giant, but. Nice. All right, so uh, perch flavored is what you're saying. <laughs> that is a nice smallie for being a uh, not giant. No. <laughs> so thick. Way to get us on the board, man. Yeah, that is a peanut compared to that first one we saw. Yes. That first one was uh, more yellow. Yeah. That's a chub. Man. Way to get us started, man. Yeah. Somebody needed to do it. It might as well be you, right? I was getting a little nervous. <laughs> oh, well, he's been out here 45 minutes. Come on. <laughs> well, here's a nice fish to start off the day, not a giant. Um, these fish are pre-spawn right now. They're just starting to move up on these flats where they're going to spawn. And uh, I'm going to get this one back, and I'll tell you what we're using. So we're out here um, fishing these smallies early. It's cold. Um, we just had a cold front come through. We had snow, rain, uh, everything you don't want to have happen this time of year. And uh, we're working jerk baits. This is that shadow wrap shad deep, and we're working them real slow, just twitching. That uh, fish, I had that pause for about 10 seconds, I think, before that one bit. Good work, sir. Thank you. Somebody had to get us started. Just don't get too far ahead of me, okay? <laughs> I'll try not to. Oh, we saw one in the water that, I mean, that was a nice bass, but it just made that thing look like a cookie. I mean, this thing was a giant. You know, who'd, I mean, smallmouth bass in South Dakota don't go together in my mind yet. No, nobody really thinks about it or does it out here. You start to see some of these big bass. I mean, the state record got set last year, was it 7.3? Yep. Lots of six pounders. Yeah, I mean, above normal, we were out here the other day, and I think we had two over six. I haven't caught a six pound smallmouth in a long time. You got There's another one. Yes. <laughs> I, think, I think this might have been the one we saw. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> that is a freak. That's the one we wanted. I haven't seen anything. It looks like a goldfish uh, in the best way. It's a uh, perch with the smallmouth painting. <laughs> that thing is a crazy fish. <laughs> I want one badly. <laughs> Here's another one. Um, that is a special fish, Marcus. It, it is. I mean, 
you know, everybody talks about bass, like on Mille Lacs after the um, Bassmasters tournament, and guys catching 19, 20 inch fish. Uh, we got 18 and a half inch fish that weigh the same. Oh, that thing, man. That's the fattest smallie I've seen in a long time. What a tank, huh? Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Marcus, that thing was crazy. <laughs> that was a big one. I'm very supportive of my fishing partners. You catch a couple more of those before I get on the board, I'm gonna be all twisted up inside. That <laughs> is a special smallmouth. <laughs> Fish like that'll mess you the guy up. You live in a pretty cool place in the world, you know that? Yeah, we're, we're spoiled out here. Authentic Series Soft Baits from Beef Fish and Tackle are just what the doctor ordered if you want to scratch your big fish itch. Available in two body styles, the Moxie Auger Tail and the Pulsar Paddle Tail offer a perfected blend of field-tested color patterns and hyperactive designs that come to life in the water. To produce unparalleled fish catching movement and vibration, other soft baits just can't match. Authentex Plastics, your prescription strength cure for slow fishing, only from Beef Fish and Tackle. Everything you'd expect from a premium quality fish house and so much more. Glacier combines superior craftsmanship and premium quality materials to produce a comfortable and enjoyable mobile base camp for your next outdoor adventure. Available in a variety of models, a Glacier Ice House offers more standard features, more usable space, and a better fit and finish than the competition. Visit our website at GlacierIceHouse.com to find a dealer near you and see why a Glacier Fish House is the ultimate way to play. Paid to put fish in the boat, you don't mess around with the thing that puts fish in the boat. Always use the best line. Fish. First cast with an X wrap. Oh, she feels good. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's the kind of kerthunk. A guy wants to feel. Finally starting to think about coming to the boat here. You know what? I think we better go to the back of the boat. Go I quick, so. go quick, go quick. <laughs> I think it was a really good call to not park this boat over that tree. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Come here. Come on. It's not even that big. It's just shrimp fed and or fed and turbo charged. There we go. Wow. These fish have been eating Big Macs. Ah, uh, yeah. Very strong. One hook right behind the, or hook right behind the uh, gill cover there. I don't even think it's hooked. It's just wedged. Can I have that? I just switched to an X-Wrap. It's kind of hard uh, following the Shadow Wrap Master back here, so I figured I better give him something different. But there is a chubby fish. You know what? It wouldn't surprise me if that was a male. Yeah. Just a giant male. Yep. All right. See you later, fish. I think that's a male. I think it is, too. That's nuts. This little shallow spot. I mean, it's outside that stick over there that's up out of the water. It's like 12 feet deep. Yep. A little bit deeper towards shore. What, six feet deep? Yep. And we're sitting here in four. And it's just got, it's just ringed with timber. I like this. This is fun. This is good. Ugh. Nice job. I want one like you had though. That was something <laughs> special. I want to see a bunch more of those. Number 10 X wraps uh, in perch. You know, nothing special there. That number 10 is uh, 
a little smaller than the shadow wrap. You know, and the water is so cold to compare to what it was here, I would imagine, about a week ago, week and a half ago. Well, that's actually colder than when, when you and I fished three weeks ago for walleye. Yeah, it is. Well, that'll tell you what you need to know right there. So we're fishing these baits slow, long pauses, and that was a male, but he T-boned it. That wasn't that little tick, you know, you feel where you you got it on the rest. The fish clobbered it. All right, I'm gonna get back at it. Thanks for the quick footwork. I was, we would, if I had stayed up there, we'd have lost that fish because yeah. it was headed right for that skeg. <laughs> In depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. In today's spot on the spot ID, we're gonna go about things a little bit differently. We're not talking about the tiny location that was key to our success today. We're gonna share an approach that I think if you put into action when you come out to Webster, South Dakota, will really help you be consistently successful at this time of the year. The thing that you really want to pay attention to is most of these fish at this time of the year will be related to shorelines, shorelines with heavy cover uh, throughout the course of the video today. What you're going to see is we're catching walleyes and we're almost always deep into submerged trees. Now that can be a little tricky when you're casting, but it also makes finding these fish very easy. So shallow shorelines, with heavy cover. And the second key is you must follow the wind out in South Dakota. Wind really drives the action out here on these lakes like no other area that I've ever fished. Uh, if the wind's coming out of the north, hitting a south shoreline, that's where you need to fish. It's just that easy. That's why this isn't so much a spot on the spot type of approach versus just a general understanding of how to go about locating and targeting these fish. Now, uh, it doesn't mean fish swim from one side of the lake to the next. What happens is you've got wind coming into a shoreline, those fish will get active, they start to feed. Now, if the wind switches direction, those fish will become inactive and all you need to do is go to the other side of the lake and get in on those areas where that wind is pounding in. Now, you don't need four footers either. If you've got a ripple on the lake, that is enough to make a difference. Now, like any body of water, flat, calm, can complicate things. So if that's the type of situation you run into, we saw some of that today, you're gonna to wanna to downsize, you wanna slow down your baits. Those fish will not leave the shallows. You just need to accommodate them just a little bit and you can stay on consistent action throughout the entire course of the day. So put these general ideas to use and you will be very successful the next time you're out here fishing near Webster, South Dakota. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels, and perfectly balanced fishing rods, engineered to perfection everywhere, every species. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Center is now a full-service Warrior Boats dealer, offering the complete line of Warrior Boats, all covered by reliable Yamaha outboards. With dealerships located in Ramsey, Minnesota and Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, Skeeter Boat Center carries more Warrior Boat models in stock than any other Warrior Boat dealer. No matter which Warrior model is right for you, you'll receive the same attention to detail and service after the sale that made Skeeter Boat Center the number one Skeeter dealer by volume in the Midwest. For the best selection of fiberglass fishing boats and unmatched service, stop in or visit us online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com. You know, when the fish are aggressive, you know, you'll hit the lure on a slack line, you'll hit it real hard, you know, and kind of pick up the line quickly. But what we're doing today, because we had that nasty cold front go through, is just more of a twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. On that second pause, I'll let it sit. A lot of times that's when those fish will hit.
Fish on. Oh, get him out of the tree. <laughs> I actually just felt him bounce off something, like the line just scraped on something. Come on, fish. Look at that, it's a walleye. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take me anywhere. And it's a nice one, too. Yes, it is. <laughs> Leave it to me. Put me on the best smallie bite in uh, South Dakota and I'll pull a big walleye. A little bit of everything out here, obviously. I don't mind. That fish was headed for that uh, deeper cut towards shore there. It wanted out of those trees in the worst way. One last hook there. Nice walleye. Spawned out or a very big male. We'll take a mess of both of them. Yeah. I don't care. Nice fish. Thank you, Netman. No problem. You made some ground there pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> fish. fish, all right. You were due. Yeah, it's a good one. We don't do small fish on this trip. <laughs> Look at that. Heck yeah. That's a nice one, buddy. Hooks are out. Thank you. Got him? You switched colors there on me, didn't you? I did. I went back to the regular uh, shadow rat. Switch colors. Fish have been off just a little bit. Uh, been seeing a lot, but just getting them to commit's been tough. Bright skies like this, clear water, it can be a it can be a chore. But I'll take this too. Heck yeah. Seems like the walleyes are still uh, feeding today, even though we got bright skies and clear water. I'm gonna get this one back. It's backwards. It is. Which I have no problem with. Typically the bass would be biting right now, and the walleyes would be in a funk, but. We won't uh, complain one bit. Everything we've caught today, except for one smallmouth, has basically been a super nice fish. And the quality is incredible. Went uh, back to a uh, clown, see if I can't make one mad. I think what's gonna happen here today, though, is gonna be, we're gonna get towards that afternoon time period when that front starts to come in. We'll get some cloud cover, hopefully. And I bet you those smallmouth and that shallow water will go on a tear. Fish. Oh, get out of them trees. Maybe it's just a stick. Nope, it's a fish. It's gotta be a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Another big walleye. Look at that thing, just T-boned that bait. <laughs> this is all right. Settle down, I'll get you out of there. That's the T-bone right there. Right across his mouth. For a split second, we were gonna be all right. Thank you. Yep. All right. That is a long walleye that was going absolutely nowhere. Front hook, which is a sign that that walleye was just heading right for the head of that bait. <laughs> Grabbed it. Absolute perfect hook set. In fact, I'm gonna need. You're gonna need a pliers. I'm gonna need a pliers. That isn't like the boniest part of a walleye's mouth possible. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. I guess you're the smallie king and I'm the, the wally master, at least for this time being. <laughs> Multi-species boat. That's right. What else you got in here? <laughs> a few toothy critters. A few they worth uh, catching or are they kind of the smaller ones? Uh, kind of medium. Well, you know, if we got to do a one-two punch and I'm, I just have to catch the walleyes, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm all right with that too. This is such a fun way to fish. Um, you know, it's very active. We're not aggressive in the sense of how fast we're fishing these baits, but certainly it's more aggressive than you'd be if you're fishing, you know, live bait, lindy rigging, jig and minnow. And you're able to catch pretty much every predator that swims in these South Dakota lakes throwing these stick baits at this time of the year. I mean, what couldn't you do right now with a very simple tackle tray of stick baits? Maybe perch? Yeah, perch and panfish, but you know, we don't have a close season, so nobody really targets them out here. Right. It's all walleyes in the spring. I love coming out here, man. All right, I'm gonna bomb in there, catch me another walleye, or whatever. <laughs> 
Authentic Series Soft Baits from Bee Fish and Tackle are just what the doctor ordered if you want to scratch your big fish itch. Available in two body styles, the Moxie Auger Tail and the Pulsar Paddle Tail offer a perfected blend of field-tested color patterns and hyperactive designs that come to life in the water. To produce unparalleled fish-catching movement and vibration, other soft baits just can't match. Authentex Plastics, your prescription strength cure for slow fishing, only from Bee Fish and Tackle. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry leading five year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. fish right there what we got walleye yeah oh that's a super fish it's another nice one jeez <laughs> that is a it. stud of a walleye from four feet of water just got one hook in the net there we go look at that thing <laughs> i mean we can see the bottom clear as day if there wasn't this little ripple, I'd be, we'd be able to see these fish chasing these baits down even at the beginning of our casts. That is a nice walleye. What a bite. This is so cool. That's a lot of walleye. Gone. That is some cool stuff, bud. Nothing better than that. What are we, we are in nine foot right here where the boat sits and that fish hit three and a half, four foot of water. Such a nice fish, bluebird skies. You know, middle of the summer, probably not gonna have the same type of action, but when this water is just starting to warm up, these fish all pile up shallow. They're, they're cold blooded, they want their metabolism to speed up too. So they're up here in this little bit warmer water and they're willing to eat stick baits. And that one is the first one we've caught so far in that deep scatter wrap shad. It's a pretty cool bait. It's got that uh, almost like a ice cream scoop bill to it. And instead of just going straight like most crankbaits do, it does like this. It's a pretty cool action. And what we've noticed is uh, when we're throwing just regular shad baits, we just weren't getting a lot of follows. Uh, we're seeing just almost every cast on a stick bait. If you work it really aggressively, there's a walleye or a smallmouth following it. We couldn't get those fish to eat because those baits aren't running very deep. So I just kind of was looking for something that was a kind of a hybrid, something that would have that little bit more wild searching action and just put it on over here in the corner, half dozen casts and got that great walleye in the boat. And one thing you can count on when you're out here in South Dakota when it comes to picking colors, everything eats perch. I don't care how long I get to do this, days like today just make me feel like a kid. I'm gonna get my cast. Good one? Yeah, that one feels good. good. What do we got here? Is it the bass kind or the walleye kind? Not sure yet. <laughs> You are cleaning house on that deep shadow wrap. Man, what a fish. Another one of those 26, 27s. Nice, healthy fish. Like you said, not a small fish in the bunch. Look at that thing. <laughs> there you go. Got him. Right there. Right there. That is just amazing. That's a big fish, too. Yes, it is. Did you see it? I just saw the mouth open up wide. Here comes the scoop. <laughs> nice. I might keep my shoes off for a while. This is uh, bringing me good luck here or something. Hey, you. That was so cool. That big old mama walleye just come right up. I mean, it was just like straight up. Just whoop, grabbed it. Yeah, I saw a big old flash and just, yeah, like you said, an ice cream pail full of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it, yep. <laughs> Let go of that. 
She was not going away, that's for sure. We have had so many nice fish that caliber today. Yeah. I mean, 26, 27 inch fish over and over and over. Nice. All righty. And back we go. I'm not going to get sick of that anytime soon. See you later, mama. <laughs> that's awesome. It was, it was. That makes a guy laugh. There we go. Fish? Yep. Wow. Just right at the end of the cats there. Up in the lily pads. Yeah. The rhubarbs. <laughs> Got him. That Hollywood deep shadow wrap, that's on. It is. That is the color. It's one of the smaller fish we've had. Yeah. Walleyes, which is saying something. It's been a <laughs> righteous day. Yeah, this, uh, what, 23 inches ruining our average? <laughs> <laughs> Still fun. Yes, it is. We'll get this one back in here. We came out here thinking smallmouth, but I'll take these two, James. It's a blessing. We'll take it, like you said. Fish. Right here at boat side. Another Goldie. This place is crazy. There he is. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> oh, got that one on, uh, well that's that shad. Yep. I don't think they care all that much. Lucky there. Yeah, that fish didn't hit, boom, like they were. Just a slow boom. That. We're kind of running out of time here. Yeah. I mean, we said we'd fish it all day long, and we, we have. I mean, we're getting pretty close. See you later, girl. So that brings us to the end of today's show. And as we said uh, a couple times today, we were not going to leave this body of water until that sun was about to set on the horizon. And that's exactly what we did. There was just no way we were going to get off the water. It was one of those perfect days. Uh, fantastic temperatures, great company. I really enjoy fishing with Marcus. And of course, the bite was fantastic. So for anybody looking to come out to Webster, South Dakota, give Marcus a call. He's a fantastic guy. He's an incredible guy to fish with. Really enjoy my time with him out there on the water. Very knowledgeable, but also a ton of fun. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Next week is our last show for season number 11. So make sure you tune in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at Indepth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.